everybody, it's El Matia here and welcome to my small studio space. Today we are going to talk about underpainting. I will explain to you how to use thin layer of oil color uh, to execute the umber underpainting stages. I also try to explain what, uh, what is the use of underpainting. The umber underpainting is essentially a monochrome painting under layer. One of the functions of the underpainting is to improve the properties of the individual layers of the painting and thus increase the durability of the future work. Another key feature of underpainting is that it serves as a guide when creating a painting. A well-executed underpainting provides us with information about the tonality and composition of the future work. Furthermore, the underpainting has the function of a third brush. This means that we can let the underpainting deliberately shine through in some places and thus achieve an effect that is, for example, unattainable with the Alla Prima technique. The glazing layered technique was first used by Jan van Eyck, who thus converted the technical elements of medieval painting into a new Renaissance form. Van Eyck laid the foundations for Dutch painting for more than two centuries. His technique is based on modeling and glazing a thin translucent layer of paint of an earthy hue on a lighter imprimatura. Umber underpainting usually follows the imprimatura. Burnt umber is a permanent quick drying paint, especially suitable for glazing thin layers. The amount of pigment, and thus the resulting value is achieved, by adding or removing medium, which is composed of turpentine and small amount of dama varnish. The underpainting, can be elaborated into the finest detail, or only done quickly. It all depends on what you want to achieve, in the final painting. Never decide on the number of layers of underpainting in advance. Usually, the procedure is to work out the details and partly the tonality in the first stage. But it is very difficult to achieve full detail and at the same time the required tonality in one layer. Therefore the tonal distribution of lights and shadows is completed and specified in the next underpainting. However, it may happen that a satisfactory result will be achieved, for example, after applying three or four layers of umber. The umber underpainting takes about one to two weeks to dry. If you expose the painting to direct sunlight it dries much faster. Like this video, please tell your friends. Don't forget to hit the like button down below. And also don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Bye.